Used to spend my night out on truck walks. Papa. Slanging it was the only love I know. But you rescued me from all the repercussions and brought me back from being too far gone. You're as smooth as tiger thick wigskin. You're as sweet as raw lozenges. You're as warm Mattress and miss can I stay high in love all the time? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Stop the mic, <laughs> Stop the week when you get here. Try to speak uh, surprises today. You better act there. Watch today. Welcome back to 10 Minutes of Shab. Thanks for tuning in. Join the Patreon if you want to. Join the Discord. We chop it up in there. But anyways, that's not why you're here. You got to start the timer first. Oh, start the timer anyway? All right, we're yeah. starting the timer now. This is 10 Minutes of it's off. It's off camera. They don't believe you. This start is- the timer now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's an announcement in Chang's. It says, uh, don't watch tomorrow's TFAT K unless you're getting clips Trying to see the effect Chang's is having on the views. Yeah. So they're trying to get an estimate on how the actual, like the view like a control, like a scientific experiment. Yeah. And to see what the actual views are. The comments are the usual grifters. Great podcast. Never watched it. You know what I mean? But is this really like a, is this from the administrators? Because this only has 700 upvotes. It didn't even, it's not like really viral even on Chang's. It was only eight hours ago. Okay. So that is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Or I think so. I don't know. I'm not a numbers guy, B. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, <laughs> what is that picture? I don't I, even know. I'm so redacted. I don't know. Let me. You want to see if I can zoom in here? I mean, they'll we'll get comments saying like, "How dare you not?" Oh, it's Callan. Callan, <laughs> and that's Shab. Oh man! Wow, <laughs> that is old school. <laughs> yeah, Dang, they were having fun back then, doing something un, like really uh, corny. Yeah, I, I was t- I, I was telling you earlier. This is a, it's a bit of weird uh, bear market on Chang's right now. Mm. You know, mar- the passing of BGL. Uh, as far the as gadushining, yes, the gadushining, yeah. uh, which I have a couple of posts about that. Right. I guess he was on like some uh, midnight reply raid, uh, oh, really? replying to a bunch of messages on his uh, post. Yeah. So let's go through. Well, those. he's not going to be on ten minutes a shop. <laughs> Everyone can take a deep breath. You take a deep breath. We're not going to do that. So, oh, look at that. We're super super zoomed in. Okay. So so apparently this is a post of his. Did they make an announcement on TFAT K? I missed it. You must. You have some great insights opposed to just reading an article. No, he doesn't. Uh, no, I guess I'm not worthy of an explanation. Mr. Mark Hurley Ooh. responded. Yeah. Dicey, dicey. Dicey, dicey. Mm. <laughs> oh, really, dude? <laughs> uh, and this next one here, it's a... Uh, oh, I forgot to say who's, who posted these. Uh, uh, Rube is Cube. Rube is Cube. Hmm. Uh, and this one's Ryan Joseph. Oh, Ryan Joseph. Right here. Yeah, yeah. 2 a.m. BGL letting it all out. Um. At Hello Mark Harley, you get fired from Fighter and the Kid. Brandon made a joke about firing more people. Then I realized you haven't been on for weeks. Uh, replying back is Mark Harley saying, Yeah, he fired me, but another person quit. Guess he's trying to reframe that. Painting a narrative, B. <laughs> Just no res- any like no respect for him is cracks me up. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the funniest things that Oathman explained to me about Chang's is mm-hmm. the um because for a while we were watching the clips. And we really, I don't think either of us really understood yeah. that his face was blanked out. Yeah. And then his voice was like this weird thing. We didn't really get it. Like Charlie Brown school teacher. But Othman was basically saying that he's so obnoxious yeah. that they, and like loves attention so much that they just block out everything he does. Yeah. Which is hilarious to me. And it, and we watched a little bit of that show he had. Yeah. Like, no, not for the show, not to make, to make any kind of jokes, but it was the worst thing I've ever seen. It would oh, make yeah. me mad. It's the hardest watch ever. He's it's real bad. Like his we, cadence and his thoughts and yeah. how everything works together, it makes for a terrible show. Yeah. You I mean the people that hate us, you know, they say and I and I agree sometimes we may be blog bussa, 
Yeah, we are suck. Boring. Yeah, we, <laughs> I don't know about that, <laughs> but we'll never reach the level of that. <laughs> the show. worst show I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Gerardo's going through something, okay? <laughs> this is not a sad thing. Yeah, I told you earlier that I went to Starbucks and I didn't lose it, and that was like a good thing. Right, now yeah. you're losing it, but yeah. not losing it at the poor Starbucks lady who <laughs> yeah. he was complaining about 10 cents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one uh, is called good God Dog, posted by a Weird Ad 3611. Another Mark Harley reply. Um, Marge, why did Bapa Gadoosh you? And he resp- responded... Hashtag addicted to gadooshing. And you know, but the thing is, it's you never know what to believe. This could all be Marg sabotage, you know. He's like building a narrative, you know, and he's trying to like get into Chang's from from the inside. Mm-hmm. 300 pages of evidence. It's so weird that they talk like this because like everyone's like, you, you could be Marg, I could be Marg. Who's Marg, you know? But in the end, it's really about just watching clips, Papa. True. You know? It is. But also, too, you're right. This could be some sort of like Ocean's Eleven, maybe like a Bapa's Eleven, right. trying to infiltrate Chang's. Right, right, right. And the red herring is Mr. Harley, dude. But this time, Eleven is the IQ points of Shab and Marg combined. Yeah. <laughs> and then this one is just funny. Uh, yeah, I just love the this is hilarious. Guy, oh, it's, and the flower horn. Uh, it's posted by Paul C2. It's called Mexican Sitchlid. I don't understand. Is that something like chiclet or what does that mean? Kitchlet. I guess it's a name of a fish. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, isn't the his his fish's name is something lid? You know more than me. I thought that. I mean, all I just know that's the flower horn. Is the that's oh, the flower, flower horn, horn yeah. flower horn fish? But yeah. the pigo de gallo thing, I assume, is from Gringo Pop. <laughs> all right, now we get into some clips, baby. So this first clip is uh, posted by Immortal Knievel. Uh, it's called Clicked Around YouTube Last Night, Found an Hour-Long Video of Drunkest Man Alive. <laughs> <laughs> Love the title. Oh, uh, let's see here. See fishing, we're supposed to. Like, so we got, what should I have done? I dig it. Was it if I really reel it in? Should I fish our friends, not food? <laughs> I think it put too much of a I mean, when you think ocean, I was like, that's what he's saying around this. There, like yeah, some trout, some red, not red fin trout. I don't know. He's, look, I go on the look, dolphin. They, they don't, they just walking around the waters. So, uh, I, I would probably move, I'm slower vibe. Feel like that fit your vibe, Jen? Everyone's just around fishing. If I could dream of a Super Bowl and then uh, Jordan, uh, yeah, Burroughs, <laughs> TV's popping around. Jamal Hill, Global Tech Sarah. What are your thoughts so far? It's it's almost redneck vibes on this one. You know, <laughs> he's like turning into an old country boy that or a very old country man. Yeah, you know, it's, it's like what what are you doing today, Grandpa? Oh, you know, I'm going random day free day. Like it's a little Josh Terry ish. Yeah, this is uh. This is and I love that it's the Super Bowl time of year, so we get to hear Super Bowl. Yeah, Super Bowl. <laughs> My favorite Super Bowl, and the the glass is almost gone. Yeah, I mean, like much like his little ice. You see that little ice there? It's supposed to be like a big piece of ice in the in the glass. Yeah, uh, it's just like everything's wrong. I I want to say that I'm sad for Bapa, but Bapa just looks sad, dude. He does look kind of sad, but I think he's just drunk. I yeah. don't really think he's sad. Some people drink on podcasts or during or before podcasts because it's like they want to get loose and they think that they need to drink to like deliver the great content that their listeners are looking for. Yeah. I wonder if that's what Bapa thinks because this is atrocious as usual. Yeah, it's just a drunk, very tired guy in a you know torn jean jacket. Yeah. And- Clown pants. Also, too, I always judge a YouTuber's depression by how many Funko Pops they have behind him. And there's he, two right now, dude. Look at that. <laughs> it's like, of course, he'd have Funko Pops. Yeah. Any kind of thing that people kind of universally think is stupid. Yeah. Papa's like, I got that. Oh, I got that. <laughs> what? And also, the shoe is gone. Oh, yeah. Where's his favorite shoe? No wonder he's depressed. Yeah. His favorite shoes aren't up there. He doesn't even like shoes right now. Look at that gigantic shoe ad. Ro- rogue <laughs> nicotine <laughs> to me. <laughs> they're in his mouth and there's like a giant sign behind him. He All really right. does have a lot of people sponsoring him. Yeah. You know? A lot of people are on team Bapa. Yeah. Let's see. American brothers that in a, the English language we refer to as twins. Now, Paul Feldler, because I'm a Terrence McKinney, and you could see, was he like, all right, if he's a, but you still don't. His you, name is you, just, you gotta be, just go back up to him. Mm-hmm. Terrence McKinney, it's not that cool. Just, it's a little disrespectful because. <laughs> Just 
She could, she it's could MMA. It's the worst sport to bet on. I'm off to Naples, February. Please scroll up, Chen. <laughs> the Bay Bet, Tickets, <laughs> Conference championship games. The Super Bowl 57. New customers. Wow. Super you can feel the again. conference championship thrills. Shop show. S-C-H-A-U-B show. Minimum age eligible. He doesn't spell his name right. This is not even the first time. <laughs> it's not. It's, wor- it's so worrisome now. Because it's like many, many times he's spelling his own name incorrectly. <laughs> CTE. Yeah. Call the doctor. Yeah. This is ambulance point. Mr. Shab. <laughs> maybe he really, maybe we were judging him too harshly and he really did hear that voice from yeah. the Asian doctor. Yeah. The CTE is so bad. CT. What? CT. What do you mean CT? Oh, because oh, that's, that's, that's how he says it. Yeah. The C- <laughs> 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 The CT is so bad that he, instead of Greg... Zoo comes out. He's like, Brendan, this is going to be very painful for you. And what he hears, what's pain your life? <laughs> You're going to have to have a lot of stitches. Many stitches, guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> he was Asian as shit. Asian supply. You better hurry up and get on it. Some special January. Uh, 20% <laughs> off supplements. 10 off fitness. Streaming fitness. So you can support each other. The best supplements on planet Earth. Paul Craig with Johnny Walker. I like Paul Craig. I said, he's my lock. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Reached for that single and just gets his head beaten. And then he said, John Jones, I'm coming for it. I was like, that's a... <laughs> He's a heavyweight. So for having the skill set to submit a Jessica Andrade, not great. So it's just like this. Can we, is there any way we can just go to another game? Uh, you know, it's unfortunately complete nightmare. You know, yeah. Jiu-Jitsu is his Achilles heels. Yeah, and then Gilbert Byrne gets on the mic. How? <laughs> this is, now I'm thinking it's more less Southern and more like um, Marlon Brando-ish. Yeah. The Godfather. Has anyone ever said yeah. that before? I don't know. You come to me on the day of my daughter's Gadushin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I ask you for a favor. Maybe I ask you for some alpha brain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of doing songs, we're gonna do movie scenes now. Yeah, yeah. What's another thing he says? I don't. I don't remember anything. <laughs> He's sleeping with the fishes. My fishes. I'm balls deep in fish. Michael, I never wanted this life for you. I never wanted you to be a on food truck diaries. <laughs> He's so ridiculous. You know, I take it back. Those pants, I, I, I'm going to be totally honest. I kind of like the pants. Yeah. I kind of like the pants. Well, I mean, a, a broken clock is right twice a day. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I'd wear those pants. Let's see. I like head and shoulders or someone doesn't come along and give that dude a sponsor. I don't know. They don't have a picture of him with his hair. Come to him. Yeah, look at his little. Uh, that, that, oh, yeah. yeah. It is just, and it's, it's, the no break <laughs> ends. It might have the best hit in the UFC right now. That thing's <laughs> popping, dude. So he suppose I do a punch. Yeah. Ram, ram, when he throws, I like it when like, he compliments people. Punch. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. But I appreciate the compliments from the shop. He's, it's very nice. Not him. Dude, that, what round, I forget what round it was in. And then he goes right into it. Then Figueroa gets him in a guillotine, grappling man. So, they, uh, what's that? What's it? So, they had, uh, now Figueroa going up the one. Look at his eye. Who wouldn't you want to see him fight out of those guys? He, you're going to get, so of course, the NAO 35, he's actually, here's what's crazy to say. He's not depleting his body. Just, you just see in his face, he looked ill. <laughs> Great editing at the end. I like how he's just, it's like he's decided, you know what? I know it's guillotine, but I'm just going to say guillotine. Yeah. That's the way it's said. He doesn't care. Yeah. It's not even, it, that doesn't even seem like a speech impediment at that point. He's just like, that's just the way it is. Yeah. He's um, changing the English language, not unlike William Shakespeare. Yeah. This one's called Your Numbers Guy B, posted by Paul C2. I'd rather have. Yeah. Well, that increases the hate. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying the no, like, oh, I'd, rather get have, I'd rather have a thousand followers. <laughs> and get 900 of them, 900 likes, then have 300,000 followers with 1,000 likes. Oh my God. Dicey, dicey. Yeah, I mean, this is good. He's tweeting shit. Is that Vanessa? Did he quote tweet Vanessa? Well, that's boring for anybody that doesn't know. I, I yeah. just know this person. So. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's basically the plot of the movie Spar- uh, 300. You know? Spartans, there's 300 of them, you know? Uh, what? Right? <laughs> I don't think they had 300 good yet. ones. Uh, <laughs> uh, what is it called? Getting ratioed? 
Yeah, it's, he's like getting ratioed by not getting likes though. Oh. Ratio is when somebody like responds to you and get more and gets more likes, right? Yeah. He's just getting ratioed by his own tweets. <laughs> he's getting ratioed by the number of followers he has <laughs> compared to the amount of likes that he gets oh. on his tweets. He should get more, but people are just following him and being like, yeah, I'm not liking that. This next one's uh, posted by Brandon. Uh, it's called Bapa does some self-reflecting. Now, let me ask you something. You think that I uh, actually considered how bad my addiction has gotten? You think that I was actually really, really passionate about my passion for fish? No, it's my new puppy. It's a new project. Some for to do, some for him to do because I'm clearly bored with my son. So this is my next conquest, and it's. Stupid for a guy who's made so much money. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting an actual clip. Yeah, I mean, funny editing, but you know, it's it's more funny for me when I actually hear what he says. Yeah. Now, let me ask you something. You think Dana White actually considers slap fighting a sport? You think Dana White's actually really, really passionate about two human beings slapping each other? No, it's his new puppy. It's a new project, some for to do, some for him to do, because he's clearly bored as shit with the UFC. So this is his next conquest, and it's stupid for a guy who's made so much money. <laughs> it's a, it, it's interesting coming from it's interesting coming from Shab because Shab gives back dogs like they're yeah. freaking things you return to Target. And I think it's important to point out that one was posted by Pity the King Kaju. Uh, called maybe a bad analogy there be most people are care immensely about their new puppy. Oh, duh. yeah. I probably saw that and like got it subliminally in my head. But yeah, exactly. Very good. Great point. Did you see this clip already where he's talking about Ariel? No, no, I haven't, I have not seen that. Uh, it's posted by Chundal Tobogan. Uh, it's called I didn't do anything to Ariel threatens to beat him up. I didn't do anything. You're, you're acting little, very innocent. Little right me. Now. You're not little old you right now. Little you're, me. Yes, you're, you're being the right. sheep. Here, here's here's my <laughs> whole thing with the, if you want to squash the beef, whatever. If he has beef, that's fine. I dare you. I did 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 did. Oh, yeah, I I dare you. <laughs> Come on the show. You won't talk like this in my face. <laughs> or I'll, I'll fly to New York. <laughs> Dude, come on. Come on. Stop looking lost. Oh yeah, that's a classic. Yeah, yeah. I, re I remember the I did, did, did bah, 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 bah. like what? Yeah, he is drunk out of his mind. Yeah, he feels good. Back then, before he got nuclear bombed by, uh, how do you think that go? Or was that the was the response to this the one where he's like, how did football go? How did comedy go? Yeah, or was that before? I don't know the chron chronological there's events. There's so many. There's yeah. so many of uh, gadushings of Shah by Ariel Hawani that it's hard to yeah know the chronological order. All I know is that Ariel seems like, you know, you could understand the words that come out of Ariel's mouth. Oh, yeah. He's very, uh, very well spoken. Ariel Hawani doesn't, da, 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 ba, 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 doesn't talk like this. Dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> that would be funny if Ariel Hawani responded. He's like, Shab, guess what? Ba, 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 you suck at comedy. You <laughs> da, 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 da. That's how you talk. That's how you sound when you talk. All right. So this one is, uh, we're back to the old classic long titles. Not ready to read this title. It's posted by Top Foundation 6313. It's a quote, working in ditches, ditches, uh, parentheses, blowing your back out to put cement on top of a sidewalk, end quote, <laughs> is essentially the new P.F. Chang's. These two spineless have zero self-awareness or self-respect. I'd be more proud of my son if he's working in the ditches, blowing his back out, you know, putting cement on a sidewalk. Ugh. I'd, I'd be much Me more too. proud of my Me kids too. if they're doing that Me thing. Too. Slap two and two, buddy, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Shav just will hate on anything like that's just like a salt of the earth job or just like a, you know, like a hardworking construction worker type job. Yeah. He'll be like, I, I would rather them do that. Yeah. Then, whatever. I guess he, was he talking about slap boxing? I th I think he's That's talking about guess. the new power slap. The new power slap. Yeah. He he really doesn't think about the things he say. he gives no thought to yeah. what he's about to say. I'd rather than work at McDonald's. These are things that you shouldn't be saying out loud, Chubb. <laughs> you shouldn't have a podcast. Yeah. The people filming this are culpable. Yes. You know, there should be someone who's submitting and like, hey, let's just uh, 
Let's write down everything Shab's going to say for this episode before he says it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's keep him safe. This week at Chang's, there's a bunch of Louis C.K. stuff, right? I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, you know, Louis C.K. had the live stream, so he was going around the bouts doing a bunch of different podcasts. Mm-hmm. I picked out three clips because there's a lot of Louis C.K. clips. Uh, this is the first one uh, posted by uh, RVCKYYM. Uh, it's called Bapa explains Louis C.K. calling out Joe. But he didn't do um, he didn't do T Fat K though, Louis. No, <laughs> God no, dude. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Wonder why. There's no possible way we'll see Louis C.K. on T Fat K. That's too bad. <laughs> he goes on comedians podcast. <laughs> All right, here goes. We talk about cold the plunges and hot plunges. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and Louis goes, oh my god, stupid. <laughs> He's, he's, what he's, kind of life do you have when you have to get into a hot, cold bath and then a hot bath and actually have a conversation yeah. about it? I was like, he I was, was like, this. I'm listening to it. I'm, I was driving. I was like, he goes, you're not. He goes, I, got, I got super awkward. I was like, not me. I was like, get him. He's like, you're not living reality. He's like, you're, you're above earth. You're in this weird stratosphere up here while everybody else, nobody can relate to that. Because Rogan's. Probably, Rogan had a good answer too, though, because he goes, if you have a human body. You don't want your body in the way. You want your body to work optimally, but it, that can be its own job. You know, that can be its own job. I Yo, love, I love Louis. Point was right. He was just I like, how it. well is your life going where you're debating about cold plunges? I, I was I like, he's it. so right. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> that was just like a well thought out um, agreement yeah. with a good point. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, clear and uh, accurate. Shab I've ever seen him be. Yeah. So Louis is bringing out like a, maybe Louis is like a, the His anti-kryptonite. Muse? Yeah, he's the muse. <laughs> Louis CK is is the muse for Shab. I'm sure we'll see some uh, poorly crafted stolen Louis bits soon though yeah. too. So that's something to look forward to well, for Chang. Speaking of being the muse for Shab, this next clip has something about a similar story that Louis CK tells oh. But I Shab. Okay. So it's called Brenda has an oddly similar story to Louis Posted by Brenda the Sloth. Um, let's see what this is all about. But I started flying right away, and the airports were all empty, and you got everyone was allowed in the lounges, and everyone was getting upgraded to first class because the planes were empty, and for a while it was part of the protocol. Before the flight takes off, they used to say they they would give you the safety stuff, and then they would say you can use your seatbelt detaches. You can use it as a weapon. Oh Jesus! You can use your seat as a shield. And they, they would telling you that? yes, they would say this is part of the thing for like the first month after nine eleven, and they would say we're here to protect you, but you have to protect us. They would say wow. that. And there was one flight I took where I was flying first class, <clears throat> like seat one B. I was right at the bulkhead. And, and this other guy sitting at one seat across from me, and the captain came out right before the flight, and he kind of squatted between us, and he said, listen, fellas, because uh, it was a, a red eye, he said, uh, you're the last line of defense, so I need you not to sleep on this flight. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> yeah. I need you not to sleep yeah, on the flight to, to sleep. defend him. Yeah. But of course, there's part <sighs> of me that's like, I'm a guy, so I'm like, oh, yes, sir, you know. Yeah. I was excited. 20 minutes yeah, later. Oh. I'm a little scared. Here's how I know I'm sick. I like Louis stand up. I think he's a great comedian, right? I the reason I know I'm sick is because I would have rather have heard Shab tell that same story. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear Shab's attempt. Yeah. At whatever Louis just said. That's how like cause it's so crazy. That's how far I've gone down the Shab. Yeah. I want to see him mess it up. Well, I don't think you got to wait long, dude, because I think he's going to. Yeah, I've seen this. Similar. I've seen the clip before, but yeah. Play, play oh, it. I've never seen this. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Get on the plane. I fell asleep off four hours, took a red eye because my son had his first football game at SoFi. So I had to make it on time by 9 a.m. So I take the red eye. I'm fall, I fall asleep on the plane. I'm waking up. People, help. We need help. I'm like, oh, what? I'm sitting first class. They run up. I'm like, what the? F-? Run up in my. In my that I'm like, oh, it's ISIS, whatever they have, box cutters. Oh, I pop up. There's a guy next to me, the Hollywood guy. I'm, I'm like, get out of the way. I pop up. And then they're like, he's having a seizure. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> and then I sat down. Like, yeah, he goes, God, if something were to go down, I want you on the fly. I'm like, oh, I don't play that, dude. I ain't going to let ISIS take over this plane with box cutters. Nah, you're going to have more than box cutters, Bubba. Because you're going to you be popping some heads. Um, I'm going to be twisting necks. You're going to be twist, checks. twisting necks. Yeah. I'm going twist. to become super viral like that moron with the hatchet. Yeah, yeah you're going to be doing some shit. Uh, 
<clears throat> yeah, Papa the hero, you know, he saved that little boy from the, the yeah. car thing. He's of course the next step is to kill a bunch of terrorists. Yeah. Know. Prevent hey, 9-11. Yeah. Hey, you guys like Moana? <laughs> what is, whatever he says to the kid. Hey, you doing okay? Uh the I would la- love to see Bapa in like an action movie where he's like he has lines and like there uh, is yeah. Yeah. Yippee Kai Yay. <laughs> Yippee Ka Day. My sucker. <laughs> uh, and then this is the last Louis C.K. clip. It's posted by Fun and Amoeba 850. It's called Theo Vaughn getting candid with Louis C.K. about the burdens he walked away from <laughs> and is at peace with himself about it. No more sunglasses every other week. Proud of you, bud. There is people there. There's you can find a loving and a self path through anything. But if you depend on it, if you're like, I won't feel good if everybody if I'm not a Hollywood A-lister. Mm hmm. You might as well pack it in. That's it's not a good way to live. Yeah, man. It's just it's it was so interesting to hear some of that because I've had spots even in just the past couple years of my life where I chose to do certain things and I'm like, I know this doesn't feel right, but I feel like I need to do it for money or I feel like I need to mm-hmm. do it for. And once I got out of some of that, yeah. everything has fallen so much more into place. I've gotten good. my semblance of human. Like I just feel like myself more again. Yeah. It's been pretty fascinating. Good. Um. Oh, dog, I feel like Theo made the right call. Oh, yeah. Seems much happier. Could have made it earlier, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get as far away from the, the subreddit as possible. If you're, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're a YouTube comedian. <laughs> I bet you even still, Theo Vaughn's like, I'm in the <laughs> subreddit again, dude. <laughs> well, this next one is from, posted by Rogan and Shorty Pie. Hey, shout out. It's called Too Much Papa Behavior in This to List. All but one happened in one continuous string. Um, You can taste it. I just taste it. Be like, hey, actually, a lot of people have been hitting me up about psoriasis because you were talking about it, and I had it. Post a picture. And they want to know he put what it on to the do. Ground. I'm going to tell you this: you can go to Dan Garner <laughs> Nutrition. He changed my life. Um, so a lot of it is is your gut. They think it's your gut. Afif Ganun at the <laughs> Cleveland Dermatology Institute. Well, Afif Ganun. That's is a, a lemon. That's a lemon on the left, or is my taste buds off? I'll check. I'll check. Afif Ganoum. Did I just eat a lemon? Um, in Cleveland. <laughs> yeah, um, um, and I'll, I'll get the number of you guys. Is it Dan Garner Nutrition? Dan Garner Nutrition. We call him Spots. Why are they so gross? He's amazing. Yeah, Spots. He's a <laughs> genius. Team Garner right there. No more. Coach Garner? Yeah, right there. Okay. Genius. Now, he's great. And then, and then a lot of those crocodiles, when you feed them like that, they get... Very big, sir. And they also and get the taste for. Yeah. D- they also keep growing. <laughs> Crocs don't. Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why does he keep throwing food on the ground? I don't Some know. guy has to come in and clean that. <laughs> eh, I'm done with this thing. I'm just gonna put it on. The- and then he puts his finger in his mouth. Okay, yeah. Mister Whole Foods. All right. So this next one's called. Uh, I guess all the allegations were false. Chris is back and a star again, posted by our good friend Haphazard, sir. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Here we go. But I went, dude, and when I went, I go like this. Okay, dude. And I went with David Sullivan, because Crystal was too pregnant. She's like, I can't go. She's out there here. And then, and then so David Sullivan came. He's from Texas, and he goes, this country, man? And I was like, F- yeah, it is. This is my kind of country. Dude was f- killing it. I looked behind me. Young Gravy was there. Uh, 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 MGK was there. And we were just having a f- Good time. Hey, let me ask you. Stars having a good time, dude. <laughs> and Stars I, are normal people. <laughs> and I We're go normal like this, people. And we are rocking out, and Young Gravy's here, and MGK's here, and David Sullivan looks at me, and I go like this, dude. Hey, man, I'm back. <laughs> and, dude, I'll tell you what. Pulled up, you know, because he was killing. Hardy was killing, yeah. and I got rock stars behind me and a rapper. And, dude, I look at him. I pull up shots of me f- doing, you know, stand up to the crowds. And the crowd's going like this. And I look to David. I go like this. Bro, fucking, I'm like that, bro. We're the and, same. Yeah. Hey, here's what I think. Man. Ugh. Yeah. Yikes. Dicey, dicey. dicey. You don't want to be doing that, Yeah, Chris. Redacted. <laughs> 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 for the last clip here it's posted by your uncle mike it's called apologies for the old dish but i feel like more people need to see this this might be the cringiest i've ever seen from brenda borderline creepy honestly water yeah, but no, 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 hold up 
<laughs> you on GT3? <laughs> All right, take it easy, Brennan. <laughs> Brennan, take it easy. <laughs> Brennan, take it easy. GT2, Chin, you're I'm hilarious back. today. Come on, bro. Yeah. Dude, the, I, know, I see a ton of people making Tiger King shirts and shit. Yeah, and by that we mean Tom Segura. <laughs> <laughs> Who <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Rogan right there? Who Tom Segura? Who whenever you factor in Bert, you yeah, but, speed, no, 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 hold on. I don't understand I, what's happening. I don't think maybe it's just his terrible laughs. Maybe oh yeah, terrible fake laughs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Baba's full of weird noises yeah. and, and sounds. It's not just the mispronunciation of names and the. Horrible takes and the stolen jokes. Uh, we we sleep on the strange noises he <laughs> yeah. makes from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I meant. Is that a lemon? <laughs> <laughs> like a like he like a handler would come in and be like, yes, that yes, Brendan, that's, that's a, a or, or no, Brendan, that's actually an orange. Okay, like <laughs> I was like. <laughs> I don't want that. That's what Theo said. <laughs> Theo got out of there. He extricated himself. Louis you know what? needs yeah. to go on this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> we got to try to get like a petition signed for Louis to come on TFAK. I would love it. I think that'd be hilarious. Louis CK talking to Shab, trying to like intellectualize things and yeah. Shab being like, yeah, you're right. I never thought about it. It might be good for Shab. Might be a good influence on both of them. I want to see Louie drinking that Tiger Thick Whiskey. Tiger Thick Whiskey. <laughs> I bet Louie Louis drinks, I would imagine. I, don't uh, know. I, I don't think know. so, yeah. I mean, uh, that's the only time I ever pull out my in front of people. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dicey, dicey. We're getting a little dicey. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for tuning in to the another episode of 10 Minutes of Shab. Join the Patreon. We'll be putting on some Gringo Poppy stuff uh, later on. And enjoy the rest of your week. Bye. Later.